Just been in the vloggy mood. My anxiety it has lifted. So we're gonna have a bit of like a self-care day. I might take a bath later. So I just got back from Aldi. Searching for this for months. We are in Milo's room doing a project. We're just gonna plant some seeds today. Specifically black radishes, because I would love nothing more than to have some black radishes in October. I just disturbed so many worms and I feel terrible. Hi guys, happy Saturday. I really enjoyed filming that cozy hurricane, hurricane vlog. Um, and so I thought I would do it again. I've just been in the vloggy mood. It's been helping with my anxiety, but I am in a very good mood this morning for four reasons. Number one, it's raining. I don't know if you can tell. It's raining. Number two, my anxiety right now is just not present. It's not with us today. Let's hope it keeps up the way. I hate vlogging in public. You guys know that. Ugh, somebody's staring at me. Don't look at me. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, number two, my anxiety right now is not here. It has lifted. I feel great. Number three, it's September. September has started. I feel like it's officially time to start celebrating spooky time. And number four, in tying in with that, Bradley has allotted me a solo mom morning out. So I just pulled up to Home Goods. I, I think I'm gonna check all four of the Johanna Parker locations this morning, <laughs> just cause it feels good to be out of the house. And I haven't had any luck and I haven't really been searching cause I've been, you know, home anxious. So we're Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. We'll see if we do it all. So we're gonna have a bit of like a self care day. I might take a bath later. I worked my ass off this week. It was like my first week back working where I felt good and I, I put up three YouTube videos and four reels and I, I, I did work my ass off. So I am looking forward to having like a proper weekend um, besides vlogging, but this is fun. Uh, yeah, just went, gonna have a cozy rainy day today, hopefully. Hopefully a bit of a self care day and hopefully some luck finding some Johanna Parker stuff. I'll keep you updated. I also wanted to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring a portion of this vlog, but we'll get into that in a bit. Let's head into home goods. Okay, back in the car, I had to take my hair down because it was giving me a bit of a headache, but no Johanna Parker, struck out. I didn't even see anything. And I feel like all my good luck last year is making me have no luck this year, which is okay because I had unbelievable luck last year. So you know what, if that's what it has to be. But usually I feel like I see things, I'm, it's just things I'm not interested uh, in, but I don't even see them. So no luck, just the two things that I showed you in store, which I love, but come to some place Slightly foreign, not really, because we've been dabbling. But you guys know I'm a Trader Joe's bitch through and through. But I've started coming to Aldi every now and then. They just, they have good deals on berries. We need blackberries right now. I also need tomatoes. I would like some spring mix. And they have these chicken fries that are literally life-changing and we ran out. So we're gonna go into Aldi, see what we can come up with and find. I am hungry, so it's probably a bad idea to go grocery shopping, but let's do it. Okay guys, I just got back from Aldi and I thought as I unload, I'd show you what I got. First up are these mini croissants. Did I have one in the car? You bet. So there's that. I got this sweet and sour chicken. It's tempura battered. I'm hoping this will taste like um, the Trader Joe's one that Bradley and I loved that they discontinued. Also Bradley's here, say hey. Hey, what'd you get me to eat? These are where I went, the chicken fries. I've been searching for this for months. Breakfast pizza, I am so excited. I saw a TikTok about this exact pizza and that's why we went to Aldi for the first time in the first place. They didn't have it and now they did and I'm so excited. Oh, they have like knockoffs of pastaroni. This one is a different flavor than I tried last time and I loved the one I had last time, um, but we'll give that one a try. They didn't have the other one. I got Milo a bunch of these um, pouches, they're organic and they were on sale. So I got them a ton, not a ton, like five or six. One of them has yogurt in it too. Got some spring mix cause we're out. And I've been enjoying some salads. Organic, and I, is this the same brand as at Costco? Sorry, you're looking upside down. I don't know, it's the it same. Al it also changes at oh. Costco sometimes. Sometimes it's like the woman. She's like on the floor. Oh yeah, I could picture her. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same size and same price as Costco. I got these mostly for Bradley, but these almond flour s'mores cookies. Speaking of Costco, these are my favorite tomatoes that I get at Costco. Um, it's a bigger thing at Costco, but they had this at Aldi, so I was like, yes. Just some trashy cheese it snapped. I freaking love these. And then some organic blueberries, or uh, blackberries, squeeze. How are they? Good. I want one. Mm, that is it's good. Like a little bit like medicinal. Ew. <laughs> 
I do not get medicinal flavor from that. Well, there's our Aldi haul. We put it all away now. Hi guys, future Amy popping in here to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. You guys know I love BetterHelp. I love therapy. I've worked with BetterHelp for years. I hope to keep working with them for years. I just love therapy and I love that I get to work with them to spread the news of therapy to you. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, it is an online therapy source with over 20,000 licensed therapists. It is real therapy you're getting just over the internet in office therapy you'd have the commute you'd have you know the waiting room the flip the switch to let them know you're there the talking face to face and that might make you more anxious if you if anxiety is what you're wanting to deal with in therapy or just whatever is stopping you from getting from point a to the therapist's office if you are interested in doing therapy at home i highly recommend BetterHelp. if you decide to sign up you'll take a quick quiz that way BetterHelp can match you with a therapist that they think will suit your needs once you are matched with a therapist you guys can start talking right away and schedule either a video call which is how I do my therapy if you don't want to have your face seen you can just do a phone call and if you don't even want to talk out of your mouth you could just do a messaging therapy session which I think is so cool I just love the amount of options that BetterHelp provides I also did want to say that if the therapist you're matched with through BetterHelp if you don't vibe with them you can change therapists and BetterHelp will do the dirty work for you I've had to like break up with a therapist in real life before and it was I was so scared so it's nice that BetterHelp will do it for you it is is available to you worldwide wherever you are and another thing I think is cool is you might be working with a therapist that you might not normally get to see face to face because they live in a different city state you know but they might be really suited to help you my therapist lives in New York I wouldn't be able to see her otherwise I personally loved doing therapy from home I still do therapy from home I had therapy the other day I did it right here on this bed because I don't get very good internet in my office otherwise I would do it there but I did it with my dog on my lap the whole time it was fantastic and I felt so much better after I know when you're in the thick of whatever mental health problem you're having it can be hard to talk about it and even this last therapy session I wasn't necessarily in the mood I scheduled the therapy a few days before when I was having a bad day and I was kind of having an okay day and I wasn't in the mood to like dig deep and you know bring everything back up but it's important to do it and I always feel better afterwards I might not always be in the mood before or during but I always feel lighter afterwards if therapy has been something you've been thinking about just dipping your toe in if you've been mulling over the decision of if you do or don't want to and you want to get better help a try you can use my link which is betterhelp.com slash amy lynn and you can get 10 percent off your first month of therapy give it a try see how you feel i cannot express how glad i am that i started therapy because it truly changed my life so but yes again if you want to use my link i will have it right there in the description easily clickable so you can just go right to it but thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video thank you to you for watching my videos so i get cool sponsors like better help and let's get back to the vlog so we just got in our next love every box this is the helper box for months 25 through 27 and i have been so excited for this box in particular for the flowers the felt yeah, for the felt flowers. I've seen these all over Instagram, TikTok, social media. Um, it's like a little puzzle thing where they stick the flowers in, but it's just so cute on a windowsill. I'm so excited. <laughs> but this is what comes in this box. I am so excited to unbox it. It's bedtime right now, so we're um, about to go do that, but I just wanted to see the flowers. They do send this to me, which is some of the best PR I get because these are truly Milo's favorite toys. Oh my gosh, also the sink comes in this one. Yes, he's gonna love that. So thank you to Love Every for sending I do have an affiliate link that you can use. It will give me a little bit of a kickback. So if you do use it, thank you. But yeah, Milo's favorite toys. They're educational. They're Montessori style toys. So they don't make noise or anything. They help boost imaginative play. They're just, it's just the best. Each box comes with a book that Milo loves. Um, so there's lots of fun in here. So yeah. Okay guys, I just ran myself a bath. We really need to take down the dead pothos. Maybe we'll do that in this video. Um, but I just almost overflowed the bathtub. I just used a chunk. I had like a chunk left of a Squidward bath bomb, a uh, bubble bar. But if you haven't seen it, I did upload my Lush 2023 Halloween haul. There's so much good stuff. I think I want to use the magic potion one, which I did myself a disservice by burying it, but we'll get it out. Hold on. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. It's Christmas Eve bubble bar scented, which is like jasmine, which is one of my favorite things from Lush. Um, so yeah, very excited about this. And the incredibly kind woman at Lush gave me a Rosy Cheeks face mask for free. It's a fresh face mask, so you like leave it in the fridge, but this one is my very favorite one. She didn't even know that, but she like, we just, we, we vibed. And so she gave me a free face mask. So I'm very excited for that. I think I'll wash my face in the tub and then put it on in there just cause I hate washing my face in the sink. But yeah, I'm gonna take 
a gorge bath, light all these candles and chill. It is such like a cozy, chilly night. I'm gonna open this window. I don't know why we're having, I'm sure more heat is going to come. I also have my ice water. Um, but for now, I'm gonna take advantage and have a lovely bath. Hey guys, so we are in Milo's room doing a project. Shirtless. Are you okay with me shirtless? Yeah, I'm fine with it, babe. Okay. But as you may recall, well, you can recall, we have none of the white shelves, but we I have had these shelves since our apartment. I also talked in the garage about these. Oh, good. <laughs> I forgot, you saw Bradley painting them. So I decided that the white shelves in this room were just too white. Here's what they looked like previously. We still have two more to paint. We, um, no, we Bradley painted four out of the five, six. We have two more to go, but we are basically adding another shelf to this wall, but we have to do it. I take earthquake safety very seriously. We live in California. And also Milo will be dangling out of the crib to get some stuff off the shelf if we put it too close and tempt him. So we're gonna have to move shelves, which is annoying, but we're in here doing a project. It's a mess. I need to put out Halloween clothes. Obviously it's September. So I was able to move the crib over a little bit so that we could have the orange shelf there because it really was the only way that it worked and then we didn't have to move the other ones. I love the way the colors look. Oh, great. Can you see? Um, it's kind of dark at this angle in here, um, but hopefully you can tell how cute it is. And then this side, obviously that one's already purple. The figment shelf it worked out beautifully. Then we'll do like a navyish color and then like a mint color. Actually, I can show you what color we're going to do because we swatched it in the bathroom because we're going to paint the bathroom cabinets. We're going to go with this one. Don't know what it's called, but that fun like minty, sagey green. Oh, it's a mess in here, you guys. I am overwhelmed. I won't lie to you. But yeah, now I'm going to get stuff off of here, back up on shelves, and I get to decorate a new shelf, which is exciting. <music> what I have for now. The shelf didn't change at all. This one um, I switched out for that poo toy and the two little um, Desert Target dollar spot rubber ducks in Tigger and Poo. And then this shelf has all soft things just in case. So we have the Jelly Cat plant which is just so cute. The Mickey and Donald version of those rubber ducks. We have his Dusty, I need to dust it, um, Disney hat and then also needs to be washed. <laughs> I just love every little baby doll. Um, but yeah, I, I can't decide if I love it or hate it. We'll have to sit on it for a few days, but for now, it's getting things put back together. And I love the colors, so cute. Okay, so yesterday we went to the garden center by us and we didn't get anything, but there is a plant that I can't stop thinking about. So me and Milo are gonna go back over and pick it up. We have a little time before dinner or before I need to start dinner. So I figured we'd do that, get out of the house for a minute. So let's do that.
Hi guys, howdy, <laughs> but hi. Happy Sunday? No, why did I say Sunday? It is Wednesday, happy Wednesday. <laughs> but hi guys, I got on my gardening hat. We are going outside. The high today is only 80, like absolutely stunning. There's a bit of a breeze. So I am going to do some uh, fall crop um, seeds. So I have my carrots and my radishes. That's all I have for now. I don't, you guys, I'm still figuring out how to garden. <laughs> I know, ooh, I know lettuces are fall as well, but we're just gonna start with carrots and um, radishes today. Specifically, right here on the top, my black radishes, because I would love nothing more than to have some black radishes in October. I, I guess I've grown radishes before, but like I have not had that much success with radishes. Also, you guys, I have bare nails. Can you believe it? I need to repaint them tonight, but I, they like peeled off in the shower, except for the thumbs. So don't mind that. A rare look at my bare nails, <laughs> but I never have six. I haven't. I've never had success with carrots. I never have success with focusing this damn camera. If you're wondering if we know these people, we don't. It's a Banana Republic um, postcard <laughs> for a discount. Never had success with carrots. Barely success with radishes. Everybody says radishes are so easy. I follow a few people that go by the chaos gardening method which is where you just like literally throw the seeds in the bed. You don't make the rows, you don't like plan everything out, you throw the seeds. I did it with sunflowers and it, I'll show you in a second, it worked. So I'm gonna try it with this in my shadiest bed because we it will probably get a little warmer again before it like really cools down. But we're just gonna plant some seeds today. I also have some house plants that I wanna pot up, that plant that Milo and I got yesterday. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna work outside a little bit. Bradley's already out there. Like I said, it's a lovely day. Look at my cute husband who can't hear me because he has his headphones in, but like literally dream man, am I right? I can't hear you. I know. <laughs> I'll when be you're with you in a minute. My okay. hands are dirty. No problem. When you're watching this later, know how much I love you and how cute I think you are. But over here is where I did the chaos gardening of the sunflowers. And they should all like flower soon. Um, some of these are weeds. Some of them I think might be potatoes. <laughs> but like these big ones are sunflowers. And I'm so excited. Like this one is coming up soon. And I did like a few different ones. I did I think some lemon queen, which so far are my favorite sunflowers to grow. I always have luck. Um, but then I also did a I think it was like a Mexican red sunflower that was really pretty, but then also like a fall kind of like pinky maroon blend. So I'm excited to see what happens. So literally all I did is I took all of my sunflower seeds, put them in a bowl, mixed them up and threw them in here because uh, we had no plans for this bed. Um, so yeah, I am so excited about that. I'll probably be a little more strategic with the radishes and carrots, but I'm just gonna throw them in there and hope for the best. Okay, so for carrots, I have these little mini finger carrots, which we've had some luck with, but not much. Um, I have these Danvers carrots, which that always makes me giggle because I think of Carol Danvers, which I freaking Captain Marvel's name in the Avengers. And so I think of Carrot Danvers, like Carol Danvers. I don't know, <laughs> that's how my brain works. And then these colorful ones called the Carnival Blend. Um, so we're just gonna throw those in there. I've never really had success with carrots. And for radishes, like I said, my black radishes, which I like this brand because it tells you like when to plant them. Because like on the back, it's like, do it like two weeks before your average frosting. Like, I don't freaking know. Um, we have the Easter egg blend. We have this golden radish. I don't even know where I got that. These cherry radishes and then these longer um, French breakfast radishes. So we're just gonna throw seeds in and see what's up. so many worms and I feel terrible. flowers in my cute little new anthropology vase.
It is now Friday night. I'm already showered and ready for bed. Oiled up, as you can see. Tonight, we're having Costco pizza. So this is the Kirkland brand cauliflower crust. I forget what it's called. We always throw away the box and just keep the insides. That didn't make sense. You know what I mean? I was gonna say, it's like their Supreme pizza. But I think that is what it is. Supreme. I discovered Supreme doesn't exist anymore and that's so upsetting. You're blurry. Also, all Costco food courts are different. Maybe like other people's food court has Supreme pizza, but at ours, it's just cheese and pepperoni now. That's upsetting. Can you order a Supreme? It's not on the menu. Oh. Well, you can get one inside, cauliflower crust, which cauliflower crust or not, this pizza I think is my very favorite frozen pizza. It is so good. I don't like zucchini, so I picked those off, but- I'll take them. Yeah, Bradley always eats them. Our Poochie is tired. He needs a haircut. He needs a haircut, I just made an appointment. So our wild party tonight, we're gonna eat this pizza and we're gonna watch Harry Potter. We started, I think we started, we were inspired. I don't know if we started on the first. I was trying to think why. It was because it was, of, uh, because it was back, to back to Hogwarts Day and I was just craving. I'm gonna ask Instagram as well. There's obviously like your Halloween movies, your winter movies. There are some movies that I feel like are meant for September specifically and then November specifically. But some Harry Potter is one, you watch all of those. Um, Stepmom is a great one. Mystic Pizza is one I always watch in September leading up. Um, you've got Mail. Last year we watched When Harry Met Sally and we loved say, it. Very just, fall yeah, just like movies that have that kind of vibe. So if you have more to share, please do. But yeah, so I was craving watching Harry Potter. I watch, I feel like we watched through them. Maybe not every year, but I watch them a ton. I never watch the first two. I don't know why, but I like Those never, I never watch them. So this time I like actually sat and watched them. Columbus. Christopher Columbus. Little Women, but that one's more November, I would say, uh, the new Little Women movie. But anyway, so that's, we're watching Harry Potter. We're on the fourth movie right now. We're in like the middle of it. So I'm going to sign off here. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I'll have the link right down below to click if you want to get your 10% off. Good night and goodbye from me and this pizza. This could be the thumbnail. <laughs> Love you guys. You have anything to say? <laughs> Marley just looked at me like I am insane. Thumbnail. <laughs> you love a thumbs or a, a I don't know what to do with my hands. It's and I'm a girl. You love a I'm a white girl born in the 90s. I love a peace sign. Is a peace sign like from that? I don't know. I just grew up in the MySpace era, you know? What was the big lips called? Duck lips? Duck lips. <laughs> I guess it's <laughs> There's your thumbnail. <laughs> Put that in your thumbnail. Please. No. Did you ever have a duck lips? Of photo? course. Oh no. I will show them to you. But okay. I'm going to eat this pizza, watch Harry Potter, cuddle with my poochie, and go to bed. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon and I hope you have a great night, great day, whatever it is for you. Anything to say? <laughs> Actually last time I asked that you talk forever. Okay. Love you. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.